everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. Welcome to my channel. It's my daily vlog, so whatever I'm up to is what you're gonna see here. And today, I figured it's been a little while since I've been to the American Dream Mall. So, I'm back. Let's see what's new. Okay, so I came in over here by the avenue which is the high-end shopping side, so all the stores like Tiffany's. So Tiffany's is still not open yet, although there is a shiny thing in the, the display. Look at that, singular shiny thing. But not open. I should also note, today is a Sunday and there is that bizarre law in this, um, this county with the shops on Sundays and a lot of them are closed on Sunday. So I am on the second floor by the avenue and based on all this beautiful Instagrammable walls, there are still a lot of real estate and not a lot of stores have opened over here. They have a mulberry over here with some bags. But again, the Sunday thing, so they're not open today. I am always impressed by the design. Like whoever the interior designer was for this mall really had a lot of style. It's really unique, quasi-futuristic, but yet, you know, like I would, I'd love this in, in my living room, right? Like I could have this set up in my home, but yet it's also like high-end designer. It's, I, I don't know, I don't know. I just, I, I really like it. And the anchor store at this mall is the Saks Fifth Avenue, which is all the way at the far end of the avenue. I know I've said this before, but these planters look like something out of a Tim Burton movie. I still think Delia Dietz probably designed these. Heading downstairs, still in the avenue. And there's a guest services over here. But all of the shops that I've passed, they've all been closed because of the Sunday rule. So again, as I'm walking around, you know, a lot of the stores are closed. It definitely confuses me why such a huge mall built, was built in a county where they're not allowed to operate most of their stores on Sundays. It's very strange to me. Um, I don't know. But there is a store I do need to go to and it is open. I need to pop into Lush. Love Lush. They have such great products and I my shampoo and my conditioner both come from there. And I was running a little low, so I figured I'd restock while I was here. But yeah, I use a shampoo bar so it doesn't come in a container so it helps to reduce up the waste, which I think is great. And my hair is awfully fluffy. I know it's up right now, but I, I attribute it to why my hair gets so fluffy. So this store called Altered State, which is a clothing store, is open, which goes to the very confusing aspect of what is open and what is closed on a Sunday. It's really hard to figure out. So this booth, Oz Paws, is balloons that walk. See these balloons? They have legs. They're like little springy legs. And they walk, so kids will like trail them behind them and they just walk along. Oh, and that elephant is so cute. Look at the cute elephant. There are now classic 80s arcade style games. Look at this. Look at this, Donkey Kong. They have Donkey Kong. Oh, and Frogger. They have Frogger on here. It's like one of these multi games. So it's like multiple games in one unit. Yeah. Donkey Kong, a Pac-Man, a Frogger. Centipede, look at this. Dig Dug, Dig Dug. 
That makes me think I haven't been to one of those retro arcades in a little while. Maybe I should hit one of those up soon too. There were a couple in the area. I found something new. I can't have anything here, but I found something new. Here is Rosetta, the Italian bakery. Look at all these noms. Look at all the noms. Look how good this stuff looks. Oh man. Oh, look at all these tasty treats they got here. This is also a new store that opened. This is called Blue Whale, and it's a restaurant. And here's the menu. So they have all sorts of green teas, lemon teas. They have some taro and fruit balls, yogurt, Japanese ice cream, noodles and rice bowls. Look, this stuff looks really, really tasty. This is also new. This is the Coca-Cola Bubble. And it's got like all this coca-cola design and it's just a seating area there's just a coke vending machine in there and a bunch of seating so it's a nice little calm place to chill for a little bit this area was not open before so this is over by big snow so we are looking at the indoor skiing that is the indoor skiing and snowboarding area so look at that they even have um like a ski lift in there and there's snow blowing from the sky. And then you go bopping down the hill. So apparently they're renovating and it's temporarily closed. But this would be where the skiing and snowboarding happen. And recently they set up the seating area and these huge windows. So anybody could come and sit and watch. And, and there's now a coffee house, a coffee shop right here. So you can get a cup of coffee, sit by the fireplace, watch some people skiing or snowboarding, right? Nice little area over here. Yeah, this is the area right by this fireplace with these fake artistic animal heads on the wall. Look at them. He's, he's soft. He's very soft. It's like a stuffed animal. garden is so pretty. It is all decked out for spring. I'm on the second floor looking down, so I'll give you a bird's eye view. They put all of these flowers in the greenery. So you'll see all over the place these gigantic flowers. It is so pretty. And there's like swan topiaries inside the fountain made out of moss. Oh, it's quite lovely. Oh, and there's bunnies hanging out with the gnome over there. Yeah. It also looks like the yard house has opened since the last time I was here. And I got a menu posted over here, so let's take a look. I got all sorts of different appetizers, We've got wings, pizzas, tacos, sandwiches, burgers, We've got a little of everything on here, a little bit of everything. And this mysterious gold area with all the, the gold tinsel-like decoration is still blocked off. It is still a mystery. I still don't know what's going there. I, I would love to know. Um, I've been wondering about this for a very, very, very long time. So the mystery continues. Then in this uh, atrium area, there are little Instagram type photo ops. So you could pretend like you're surfing, having the ultimate daycation. There's also this little roller coaster photo op as well for that ultimate daycation. You could sit in there and pretend like you're on the roller coaster. This is new. It's called Make It Two Sewing, Ceramics, Woodworking, Painting, Soap Making, and More. So it's like a whole DIY kind of place. And we now have a Starbucks. A Starbucks has officially opened since the last time I was here. So yay! Yay, Starbucks! Coffee! Caffeine! Yay! I found the Lego store. 
And it says, this is a new set. based on Lightyear, so I guess there's a new Buzz Lightyear show. Huh, I was not looped into this. Is this on Disney Plus? Can I watch this when I get home? Or is this like coming soon? They have these little sunglasses. I mean, they don't have a Mando, but they have like Boba Fett, like this is the way. I don't know, is it me? I can't see through them, I don't know. I am so impressed by this. So this is like a racing car, like a NASCAR. But like the amount of work to build it, but let but even before that, go back to who designed this? Who figured out how to make the Legos snap into place to become a car? Like who who figured that one out? So they have a whole section over here of Star Wars Legos. But there's two different Millennium Falcons, and I've seen the standard Falcon before, which let's go over here. So this is like the standard Millennium Falcon, which is pretty impressive in and of itself. But then they have another one. They have this Ultimate Collector Series. Look how stinking detailed this is. This is unbelievable. You can like put them in the cockpit. To recreate Han hitting on Leia. Look at this BB-8. This is impressive. I want it, but I don't like seven hundred dollars want it. But like I want it, but it's like seven hundred dollars. So that's a expensive Legos. Expensive. Legos. I had a great time today. We checked out some shops. I was able to pop into Lush, get a refill on my shampoo and my conditioner. A lot of the stores are closed because it was Sunday, but it's always good to look around. We saw some new restaurants that opened, Yard House opened. There's also that uh, Italian uh, bakery that opened. So a lot, of, a lot of new stuff and you know, as always, there's still plenty of real estate here, so I'm sure there's more to come. So with that, I am done, and I will see you all tomorrow. And until then, stay inspired by everyone. Take care.